Oh, hello! Back again for another week, this time the update for the week of August 13th, 2017. <sighs> okay, so we will start with, as always, the uh, weight update. Uh, at this week's weighing, I weighed a little bit late because I was backpacking this weekend. Um, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so when I did weigh in, I was at 270. 0.5, so that is 0.7 uh, lighter than last week's measurement for a total loss all the way going back from the beginning of 34.5 pounds. So cool, still losing um, and all that good stuff. So putting that in perspective, however, um, which is what happened to me this weekend. Um, I have already posted the the uh, the trip report, the, the the hike report, on uh, what turned out to be an overnighter into the Sierras. Uh, we had planned a two night backpack trip, but uh, unfortunately, because of some physical issues that I had, um, and it's all explained in the in the trip report. You know, please please have a look at that video and give it a like if you will. Um, um, we turned that two night trip into a one night overnighter into the Sierras. It was still a good trip. Um, it's beautiful up there. Um, it was really good backpacking into that area. It, it, it was a place that I had gone to many times when I was a, a younger avid backpacker and it was great to get back in there again. I hadn't been back there for a couple of years, probably about three or four years since I've been back there. Um, and so it was great to get back in there and awesome. Um, but like I said, uh, put things into perspective. I am happy with my weight loss, almost 35 pounds lost so far, and I'm going to keep plugging away at it. But since my goal is to get to around 200 pounds, maybe a little bit less, depending on how I, once I get to 200, how I feel and look and things like that. Um, 30 pounds, almost 35 pounds lost means I'm still about. 70 pounds overweight. Um, 70 pounds is is not a small weight. It's nothing to shake a stick at. Let me tell you that. And so, backpacking when you're 70 pounds overweight and you haven't been in real condition. I mean, I've been doing all the day hiking and stuff, but I mean, real condition for Sierra backpacking. We crossed over a pass that was 78 over 7,800 feet elevation. Um, yeah, my body let me know. Wow, you got more work to do. So there it is. Um, so in a way, it was kind of a bummer. I wanted the trip to go a little bit better. I still consider it a, a good trip. We still saw some cool stuff. We got into over the pass and into Round Valley and all that kind of good stuff. Saw a lot of neat things. Um, but it was definitely a trip that, that sent a message. Um, I talked a little bit about it in the thing, uh, uh, in the uh, trip report. I mean, I did have an episode, beside my back twinging on me a little bit, um, uh, I did have an episode where uh, I, I, I have never had it happen to me before. I really don't know what was going on, but I mean, I literally was, because I was separated from my group, they were up ahead of me, we were kind of spread out, hiking our own hike, our own speeds, basically, and then we'd stop and, and catch up to each other and meet for a little bit for a little rest. Um, so at a point, I was kind of by myself. I had lagged behind the group. Um, I got to a point where I was so fatigued, I literally could not move my legs. Literally. Uh, just my, my willpower was saying move, and, and my body just refused. I could not move any further. I was getting kind of disorientated. I had a little bit of a, a panic thing going on. And so I recognized that my body was telling me it was in distress. Uh, so I literally just stopped and just sat right next to the trail, didn't care where the hell I was, sat right next to the trail, got out the water. I had been drinking water, so I wasn't dehydrated. Drank some more water, and uh, I didn't know if it was altitude or maybe I needed some more calories in me. Maybe my blood sugar had gotten low because I'd had a very tiny, basically I had one of my protein shakes for breakfast. I hadn't really eaten a real breakfast. That's on me. That's my mistake. I should have thought of that. I should have thought, hey, this isn't a diet day. This is you're going to be going out into the Sierras at high altitude. So that may have worked against me. Maybe that's what that was. So I literally just sat down the trail. I got food in me. 
and uh, um, probably about 10 minutes after I did that, uh, one of the young members of our party who has energy, thank you Logan, um, my nephew, came, had dropped his pack, came back to check on me to make sure I was all right and I appreciate the group, you know, checking on me and stuff like that. And by that time I had eaten food and things and I was feeling better, I got up and, you know, with, with him walking along with me, I, I caught up to the rest of the group. Um, shortly thereafter, we got to the top of the the pass. We took a break there, ate some more food, and, and by the afternoon, I was feeling better. So uh, I'm thinking it was some kind of blood sugar thing or calories, um, but my body just decided, nope, you're stopping here. Didn't have a choice. And it was kind of a scary episode because I've never had that happen before. I mean, I totally had no control over my body. If my life depended on it, I could not have moved any further down that trail, and that was kind of a scary feeling. Um, but I was able to fix it. I got it there, and, and, and getting food in me helped. <sighs> but that just illustrates that, you know what, you've you got to take this stuff seriously and think about it. I mean, I was like in the morning, um, I got distracted because lifting things and packing my truck, a twinge in my back. And that frustrated me so much because I haven't had any trouble with it. I've been doing comic shows and lifting comic boxes you know, for months now, and all kinds of other stuff, not a single problem, and then the day I've got this backpack trip planned, I'm so excited for the backpack trip, picking up my backpack to put it in the truck, my back kind of twinges on me, and I knew that meant, like, the whole day it was going to be making me uncomfortable, and it might affect my sleeping that night, and all that was running through my head, and so in the morning I wasn't thinking clearly about you need to get some calories in you, so I had my usual shake for breakfast and didn't think you probably need more than that. And so there it was. I got out there on the trail without really prepping myself properly. I think if I had more calories for breakfast, I, I probably wouldn't have had that episode. But there it is, more, more learning experience. Um, and, and part of it is, too, is I think my body would have handled everything better, too, if, you know, I wasn't still 70 pounds overweight. So there it is with that. That's, that's you know... Like I said in the, in the trip report and saying here, it, it's, it's, I don't consider it a defeat. I consider it a learning experience. And so I am going to take that, take those experiences and move on. And fortunately, everything worked out fine. And so there it is. And once again, just like I did in the trip report, I want to thank Jim, my brother, Logan, my nephew, Ken, uh, the family friend, really awesome guy that I met this weekend. Um, I appreciate your support. I understand that you were hoping to get, you know, Two nights in and we only got one but I really appreciate it that when I said Saturday that hey in case this back gets worse and I won't be able to hike out at all I just think I need to go and get out um, you guys were really supportive I mean not even a sideways glance you just like okay and we did our breakfast thing and, and got packed up and, and out we went so I appreciate your support and um, so that's it on that. The only other thing I want to do a quick update on is uh, some schedule adjustments are coming for me. I'm going to have to try and figure out when I'm going to get my regular training hikes in and things like that. Because I used to get up early and go do it. But the thing is now, my son will be starting school in about three days. And when he does start school, I'm the one who's taking him to school and stuff like that. So I'm not going to be able to get out on the trail at 7 o'clock and then hike for two or three hours like I was doing. Because... I have to get him to school around 7.30ish, 8 o'clock, which means I won't be able to go hiking until after that. Um, since we are kind of past the peak summer season of the high heat, it's not imperative I get out there really early to beat the heat. Um, I just kind of liked it getting out early because then I'd be done by about 10 o'clock in the morning and, and then I have the rest of the day, so that was kind of nice. So I'm going to be doing some schedule adjustments personally to figure out when I can get out there and, and keep going, keep hiking, but... Uh, I should be able to, to figure it out. Um, other than that, I think we're, we're good with the update. Uh, take a look at the trip report for the Sierras. Uh, other, other than the whole stuff about coming out early and stuff, I got some good footage. It was beautiful up there. Uh, saw a lot of cool stuff. Had a lot of fun. And so, and as always, thanks for your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for keeping up with me. You, uh, you, you few who are out there are doing that, but you know, when I start looking at the numbers, it's kind of interesting. I've got some folks who are watching from Instagram, some folks who are watching on Facebook, some who have actually kindly subscribed and are watching on uh, on YouTube. I know I have a few watchers on YouTube that haven't subscribed. Hey, that's whatever. If that's what you want to do, that's okay. I still appreciate you watching. Um, so thanks to all of you, uh, no matter which 
social media you're watching from, I appreciate uh, your support. Uh, sometimes your kind words, because I get comments now and then, and all that kind of stuff. So thanks so much, and we will see you next week.